The shell plating of a ship has to be supported and strengthened in the same way as the skin and flesh of the human body is supported by the skeleton system. The type of framing that the naval architect chooses depends upon the size of the ship and to some extent the type of ship. The transverse system, the longitudinal system, and the combination system are the three main systems of framing used on ships. Transverse framing system was used for old sailing ships and general cargo ships with tween decks. As the ships with small longitudinal strength was not of great importance, transverse framing was preferred for sailing ships as they help in resisting racking stress. Nowadays, this system is used in small ships. The structural elements in transverse frame are outer bottom, shell, frame, inner bottom, center girder, side girder, lightning hole, solid floor, tank side bracket, upper deck, deck beam, beam knee, tween deck, pillar, and the deck girder. Transverse framing increases a ship's transverse strength but reduces its longitudinal strength. The only longitudinal strength members in the transverse framing system are the center girders, longitudinal girders under the hatches, bilge, and shear strake plating. In the case of small tankers, longitudinal bulkheads act as longitudinal strength member. Use this line diagram for representing transverse framing system, which will help you in the examination. In longitudinal framing system, the frames are at the bottom, sides, and decks. Widely spaced transverse frames also support them. The beams, bottom girders, and side frames run fore and aft. This framing system is used on larger ships, as the framing system running fore and aft provides the extra strength required on a longer hull length. The structural elements in longitudinal frame are bottom plate, side shell, shear strake, upper deck, tank top, hopper, hopper longitudinal, side longitudinal, bottom longitudinal, web frame, deck longitudinal, center girder, and the side girder. This system gives a ship greater longitudinal strength but poor transverse strength. Deep web frames are fitted at suitable intervals along the length of the ship to increase the transverse strength. The web frames run transversely and are much bigger than the normal frame size. Deep web frames are spaced at a distance of the length of the ship divided by 50 apart to help transverse strength. Most tankers are constructed with this framing system. Use this line diagram for representing longitudinal framing systems, which will help you in the examination.